What's up guys, welcome to That Creative Life. It's me, James Mathis. Today we're out at Coolidge Park, kind of testing this camera in a vlogging setup. This is the lady you've been waiting to meet. This is Kayla, my fiance, the one I'm getting married to here in a little bit. That's John. And we're just gonna walk around, take some photos and videos, and kind of hang out and have a good day. So let's roll that intro and let's get started. Feels like everything's crumbling. All the windows are shadowing. Okay, so walking downtown, this is a good test for the image stabilization on the lens. Uh -huh. And the Ibis, kind of curious how stable it is. I know it's not gonna be fantastic gimbal quality, but is it usable? That's the big question. Sorry, it's a little brat. Whew. Okay, sun's gone again. But, so we're walking around, taking pictures, ran into one of our coworkers actually, which was kind of funny. Um, her sister owns a store. If you like fruit smoothies and you're downtown, check it out. It's like right underneath the bridge in Chattanooga. But now we are going to walk down this little alleyway and get some B-roll. So let's roll that now. All the women are so I was really confused why my footage was looking so shaky. I mean, I know I shake a lot, but I had it turned off. Yeah, because when I put it on tripod, I typically turn it off just to be safe. Completely forgot to turn it on. I'm sure this looks a lot better. So let's say hey again. Hey. Hey. All right, we're going across the street, across the river, go to actually downtown, get some cool stuff. So let's go. So, since my darling Brad is the one who's driving, I figured we could do some car B-roll. Let's test out the Ibis now that I actually have it turned on and check out the autofocus, check out the F-Log. Let's just test everything in a vlog setting. So let's roll that B-roll. your bed and now your mouth can say all the things that made your stomach turn today seeing the capabilities of this camera with the ibis shooting b-roll Obviously, I've been taking some pictures, trying to see if it'll overheat outside in the heat, because X-T4 does overheat a little bit sometimes from what I've heard, but not anything like the US R5 or R6, because this one cools off rather quickly. But it's kind of part of the test is it's a hot day. It's like 90 degrees. So I figured it'd be good for this. And plus, these buildings are kind of incredible, so why not? But let's keep going. Let's keep taking photos, keep taking video. And let's really put this thing through its paces. So we've hit up part of Coolidge Park, pull of down, part of downtown. So now we're gonna head to one last location. Still just kind of really trying to push this camera and seeing what she can do. Because that's kind of important when you get a new camera. And I realize it's gonna look super jittery, hold on. Okay, that should be better. I had it at the wrong shutter speed because I was just shooting slow-mo. I apologize. Anyways, it should look better now. Let's go to that last spot. Let's check it out, see how she looks try to get some more pictures and videos. So let's head over to the art district now. We have gone and walked around different parts of Chattanooga. We have taken pictures, we're taking B-roll. It's kind of a fun day, got to hang out with my buddy and my lovely lady over here. I'm glad you got to get a sneak preview of her before we do the big video introducing her to you properly. But that's kind of our day. We just kind of wanted to hang out and take pictures and spend some time with John back there. And now we're going to go get into some more mischief, I reckon. So we might see you guys later. Otherwise, I'll finish this in the studio. So I apologize if you can hear the HVAC unit, the air conditioner thing. But I wanted to come outside and finish the video. I didn't want to do it up in my studio. Here, I'll turn around. That's a little better looking, at least directional mic. So hopefully that works. But I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just a little vloggy vlog. I haven't done one of those in a long time, like a real one where I had friends out there with me, so it was a lot of fun. But I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys. Don't forget to live that creative life. I'll see you next time. Bye.